Good afternoon everyone. HK8 Pro Max and HK8 Pro Ultra. It's obvious that HK8 Pro Max is the upgrade version of the Pro Ultra and now I'm going to show you the differences and significant features of both watches. So first let's turn on the full brightness for both watches. Let's open the screen. Settings for the HK8 Pro Max, brightness, and this is the full brightness of HK8 Pro Max, and also this one is locked. Let's turn it on. Unlock, I mean. As you can see. The shortcut menus are different. So these are the full brightness levels of both watches. By the way, as you can see, I cannot change the watch face of the HK8 Pro Max by turning the crown because the only way changing the watch face on HK8 Pro Max, you need to press and hold the screen and then choose like i am doing at the moment but you can make the changes on hk8 pro ultra by turning the crown this is the first difference and let me turn on the always on display for both watches but always on display i mean always on watch face is limited up to 20 minutes for both watches so you can only turn on the always, always on watch face feature for 20 minutes. Then it turns off and you need to turn it on again. Okay. As you can see on the HK8 Pro Max, we have compass feature, which means this watch Pro Max also has gravity sensor. But on HK8 Pro Ultra, we don't have it. So there is no compass, no gravity sensors, which means you can get better you know, uh, sensor results, for example, for walking or sport modes, walking and running or cycling, maybe you will get better results with the HK8 Pro Max because it has a gravity sensor, but Pro Ultra doesn't have it. So it's just going to use the data that comes from your uh, phone. But on HK8 Pro Max, it merges the data from your phone and from the gravity sensor it has already and on the watch faces let's see if icons are working yes works here but on hk8 pro ultra the icons on the watch face doesn't work you can have the night mode and also this icon should be working yes only icons works on the hk pro ultra the middle icons but on pro max icons are functional see let me try this no and here no and also we have night mode also on the sorry hk pro max so Icons works on HK8 Pro Max. Icons doesn't work on HK8 Pro Ultra. I mean the icons on the corners. And how many watch faces we have? One. Two. Also, Verfit Pro app, the application for these watches, had an update and new watch faces started to coming. It's a, you know, good news because they never update or give us new watch faces, but since last week, they are starting the update and upload new watch faces. So this is one of the new, newest watch faces of HK8 Pro Ultra. So one, two, three. Also, third one, do it yourself watch face. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total nine watch faces on HK Pro Ultra, including the do-it-yourself watch face. And on the 
HK8 Pro Max 1. So we need to do this. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And on HK8 Pro Max, we have 10 watch faces. So you have one watch faces more than HK8 Pro Ultra. I mean, you can save one more watch face on 8K8 Pro Max. And this is one of the latest new watch faces for HK8 Pro Max. When you look, let's change this also to the newest one. Or let me use this one and show this then we can change. You can review the other features. Look at this. As you can see, HK8 Pro Max has a thinner bezel than the Pro Ultra, which means this is more realistic than the than its predecessor. Also, the design, the outer design, the cage design is 100% same. On HK8 Pro Ultra, we have an IPS screen, but on HK8 Pro Max, we have an AMOLED screen, and this is the first AMOLED screen Apple Watch Ultra clone on the market. Actually, it is the only Apple Watch Ultra clone with an AMOLED screen, and I am going to add the difference in the dark between Pro Ultra and Pro Max. You can, I think, you can see at the moment on the screen. This is a true AMOLED screen Apple Watch Ultra clone. Both watches have dual core processor. The, both watches are running on 1.4 megabyte of memory. Both watches have 240 megahertz of refresh rate. Both watches have artificial intelligence neural network accelerator, and both watches have two dimensions image engine. And what that two dimension image engine does you can have fireworks on your screen also on this one and this screen watch face is different on this one a little bit and yes actually the animation firework animation is better also on the HK8 Pro Max other than that at the moment I don't have any messages but let me tell you that on the HK8 Pro Ultra, you can see all of the emojis from different uh, messaging or social media notifications. But unfortunately, you cannot see the emojis on HK8 Pro Max. They have downgrade one feature on a newer version. I don't know why. I hope they are going to release this one with the next update of Wear Fit Pro and the watch. Other than that, all menus actually are same, but the layout is different. Let's look at here. See, on the HK8 Pro Ultra, we have the shortcut menu all colored. But on HK8 Pro Max, it is being colored when you tap on it. Also, you can just directly go to the settings from the shortcut on Pro Ultra, but on the Pro Max, you have to go to settings menu. That's how you can change it. And for general, these are the most significant differences between HK8 Pro Max and HK8 Pro Ultra. You can find some variants or some rivals to HK8 Pro Ultra, but there is no rival for the HK8 Pro Max at the moment because this is the only AMOLED screen Apple Watch Ultra clone on the market and the touch screen sensitivity is flawless. Look at this. If you have time and watch the detailed review video of HK8 Pro Max that I made, you can see that I am comparing this speed with the original Apple Watch and you will see they are almost they almost have the same speed. Okay, so if you would like to buy any of these watches, I am going to put the links in the description. Also, I'm going to put the links of the accessories like 
extra watch bands and protective cases. This is a protective case for the original Apple Watch Ultra. And both watches are able to use original Apple Watch Ultra protective cases, as you can see. The HK8 Pro Max comes in this simple box. Nothing fancy. And on the other hand, the H11 Ultra Upgrade box is actually similar to the box of the Apple Watch 8, not the original Apple Watch Ultra. And both packaging styles are actually not too similar to the original one. Okay, let's start with the size, their sizes, and if they are able to use original Apple Watch accessories or not. So to measure the size, let's turn this on and reset. Okay, let's start with the H11 Ultra upgrade version. So H11 Ultra upgrade is, hold on a second, 49.1 millimeters and HK8 Pro Max is 49.1 millimeters so both watches have the same size and they should be able to use the apple watch ultra cases but first i would like to show you design then i'm going to put on the watch bands and apply the protective cases okay so let's start from here as you can see the microphone holes or sensor holes on HK8 Pro Max are actually not that good because they look like they are filled and on the H11 Ultra Upgrade it's more similar to the original one because they are open. And side buttons looks like they both have the same height so they are both easy to use. And when you turn the crowns, this one, H11 Ultra Upgrade Crown, have the feeling closer to the original one. You don't feel anything while it's turned off, while the watch is turned off. But on HK8 Pro Max, you know, when you try to turn it, it looks like something is scratching inside. So... With the design, H11 Ultra Upgrade is looking better at the moment. Let's look to this side. Look at this side. The action button color, the orange color, is closer on the HK8 Pro Max to the original Apple Watch Ultra because it's brighter. And the speaker holes are pretty much the same. But when you look to the holes microphone and sensor holes again h11 ultra upgrade is better on this one especially this one it looks like that they couldn't make a hole while they are able to make the speaker holes i'm not sure why they didn't drill these holes properly okay and when it comes to the screen look at the bezels when you look at the bezels you can clearly see hk8 pro max has a thinner bezel so with the bezel design hk8 pro max is closer to the original one but on the h11 ultra upgrade version it's actually a lot thicker and at the back of the watches we have four screw design, watch band locks, different letter styles, and you can see the sensors. So, this is the important part, and you can see those videos in my channel. For example, in the review video of HK8 Pro Max, I performed a sensor test versus to a medical device, and HK8 Pro Max surprisingly gave the same measurement data with a medical device 
and actually among all Apple Watch Ultra clones, this is the watch which gave the best results about heart rate, I mean the health sensors and H11 Ultra Upgrade and other H11 watches are giving the worst measurement results versus a medical device. So worst sensors, best sensors. Let's put on the watch bands. Give a try to the protective cases which are being sold for the original Apple Watch Ultra and start with the HK8 Pro Max. Okay, and press. On this side, we have no problem. It fits perfectly, but there is one problem which I am going to mention now. And on this side, it fits perfectly, but as you can see, as there are no actual holes even with the protective case it doesn't look right so this is the you know most important feature failure i mean i don't like about the hk8 pro max they just failed with the design and when it comes to the h11 ultra upgrade it just fits perfect you have the actual holes microphone and sensor holes and looks awesome but both watches doesn't have any gap and you cannot see the shiny part of the watch cases the actual watch cases and both are able to use apple watch ultra accessories as we just tested okay let's remove them and i am now going to turn them on and we are going to start the user interface features review okay so to turn the h11 ultra upgrade you need to press this button Of course, it is being turned on by saying hello. This is the full brightness of H11 Ultra Upgrade. And to turn on the HK8 Pro Max, we are going to press and hold the crown. It's also turning on by saying hello. And we just get our incredible umbrella screen the most important feature of the hk8 pro max hk8 pro max is the first amulet screen apple watch ultra clone with tiny bezels tiny bezel and this is not even the full brightness okay let me turn on the full brightness settings display and brightness and this is the full brightness. And with full brightness, the camera is not able to record the actual color because it is really bright. So I am just going to lower the brightness to get better experience. Let's make it medium. Okay. See, now it is better. AMOLED screen, thinner bezel, IPS screen, thicker bezel, and look at this, see, you can just turn off the screen with, by using your palm, but on HK8 Pro Max, we don't have that feature. And the other feature I think you can see that there's a blinking red dot which comes you know which is similar to the original one but the or but at the original one that red dot doesn't blink okay let's see and you can see the message but if i tap it 
as you can see i am not able to see anything because i have just sent some emojis to this watch from my wife's phone and i cannot see anything so you cannot see emojis in hk8 pro max but it's surprising that they removed this feature because i have hk8 pro ultra version here and in this watch you can see all images so instead of upgrading they made a downgrade on hk8 pro max which is very bad i am really disappointed about that so delete and i'm not sure if i have any messages here let's see the site no in h11 ultra upgrade you can see the images but you cannot see them with color on the other hand with hk8 pro ultra you can see your images and they are colored so both watches have always on screen let me just activate it always on display oh, it's already activated and for the hk8 pro max the maximum always on display time is 20 minutes unfortunately so to turn it on you need to click this and it will just see will stay only for 20 minutes so most important differences and significant features of both watches h11 ultra upgrade is the only apple watch ultra clone that comes with a one gigabyte of music storage and the bluetooth earbuds connection hk8 pro max doesn't have that feature like the other apple watch ultra clones and hk8 pro max is the only apple watch ultra clone that comes with a true amulet screen and i have already performed a test if it's real or not in the review video of hk8 pro max which you can find the detailed review video link in this video's description also, you can find the review video of these watches in the description. Okay, next feature. You can change the watch faces by turning the crown on H11 Ultra Upgrade. And at once, you can save 10 watch faces, including a do-it-yourself watch face. With last update, last week, the QI Fit application and the watch had a new update and we get this Pink Panther animated watch face. H11 Ultra Upgrade version has more than 200 plus watch faces available. But unfortunately, on the HK8 Pro Max, we only have, I think, 48 watch faces available. And another difference about the watch faces, as I mentioned, you can change nine of those watch faces at once. So you can change and replace them. But in this watch, in HK8 Pro Max, you have the option to change only one watch face each time. For example, this one. This is the only watch face you can change on HK8 Pro Max so when you download another one this is going to be deleted and this is how you change the watch faces on hk8 pro max you cannot change it by using the crown you have to press and hold the screen and see you cannot uninstall them these are the default watch faces and you have custom dial you can use custom dials on both watches and these are the let me show you the other watch faces the horse head you cannot change the colors by touching it it's just animated the other one yes both watches comes with compass let me show you the compass here also see it's working here or you can just choose this watch face the night mode and the working compass 
on the HK8 Pro Max. At the moment, it's not calibrated. Oh, it's calibrated. Okay. We have the compass here. And when you touch side of the watch face, you get the compass here and the numerics of the time. And when you touch again, you get the night mode. And if you touch here, let me check it. Yes. So you get the compass night mode here. And you have two types of compass. The touch sensitivity of the HK8 Pro Max is the best in the market. I am just not able to use it while looking through the camera. So don't worry about the touch sensitivity. This is the best touch sensitivity Apple Watch Ultra clone on the market. And icons are all working. Activity records. Okay, too many features. So you need to know where you, you need to touch this side. See? Okay, here. If you touch here, the color changes. And icons are working also on this one. What this? Yes, sport modes. And on this one, let's try icons on this one. Let's open the main page. This is the default page of H11 Ultra Upgrade. Works. Music works. Yes, you can see. As you can see, we have a earbud icon here. So when you click this, you can choose local music. And then you can connect your earphone. And you can search for device, available devices. Or mobile music to use. I mean to listen the music from your phone. And when you click this, you just directly go to compass. But actually this icon at the original Apple Watch Ultra is about the altitude. As you can just see here, it's my original Apple Watch 8. And our um, average, not average, approximate height is about 38 meters above the sea level and you can also see the original Apple Watch 8 has the you know feature of measuring the sound level that's awesome I really like this watch but I am going to use this to show you the awesome features of HK8 Pro Max okay let's put this here and other icons only icons around the circle are working and this UVI doesn't show any data even when it connects to my phone. I don't know. I think there's a bug about it. So let's go for the menus. As I mentioned, the heart rate measurement is not trustable on this one. And you can see next three days in the weather forecast. Music just I showed you. Blood oxygen levels and you can add more widgets from here. Shortcut menu, Bluetooth. You can change the menu styling here. This one has two menu styling, grid and the list. But HK8 Pro Max has four different menu styling. And look at the speed difference. See? With the dual core processor artificial intelligence neural network accelerator and 240 megahertz refresh rate running a memory of 1.4 megabytes this watch is the fastest a crazy fast apple watch ultra clone it's actually too close to the original one the original apple watch ultra and the apple watch 8 are using the same watch os watch os 9.3 and look at this they are almost same, right? See? The original Apple Watch Ultra also used the same chip with the Apple Watch 8. And... Hold on a second. Oh. Almost same. Crazy. The HK8 Pro Max is the fastest 
Apple Watch Ultra clone. And you know, refreshing rate is, let me remember, as I remember, it is 240 megahertz. And on this one, as I remember, it's just 160 hertz on H11 Ultra upgrade. So with the processor, screen, speed, refresh rate, sensor, this is the best watch on the market. The only downside of these field holes, I hope they are going to fix them in the next version. And actually, in my opinion, the only plus of the H11 Ultra upgrade is its 1GB of music storage and the Bluetooth EVA connection. That is all. If this watch has those features, this would be the best Apple Watch Ultra clone. For me, it is still the best Apple Watch Ultra clone, but you know, still lots of people are, you know, trying to decide between both watches if they need the storage and the earbud connection or the AMOLED screen, the fastest, you know, uh, chip and the refresh rate. And also I would like to show you this. This watch also have a two dimension image engine, which means you can have fireworks on your watch and the new pre-installed watch faces are awesome look at this you don't have too many options but the options you have are crazy okay heart rate measurement is the best as i told you but look at this this is almost, with the user interface, this is almost the original Apple Watch. Let's open the heart rate page of the Apple Watch 8. Look at this. Current heart rate, current resting heart rate, walking average, walking heart rate. They actually copied the menu directly to this watch. And when you go to settings in both watches, look at this. Do we see any similarity? Notice notification, universal, general, focus to not disturb, airplane mode, bright screen, FPU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sounds, FPU here, passwords, accessibility, dark, battery sounds, passcode, sleep. They just changed the ranking of the menus and FPU naming. Exactly the same menu. And with the user interface, and the speed, this is the most similar Apple Watch Ultra clone in the market. Also, is there anything else that I need to mention? Actually, these were the most significant features and differences between two watches. Final verdict, final conclusion. If you would like to have the most similar user interface, AMOLED screen, thinner bezel, fastest chip, fastest refresh rate go for the hk8 pro max also the best health sensors but if you would like to have one gigabyte of music storage and earbud connection go for the h11 ultra upgrade version and in my opinion so i am telling this about my needs i would choose the hk8 pro max for myself but you know everybody's taste is different and everybody's needs are different so you need to make your decision depends on your needs for me hk8 pro max is the best apple watch ultra clone on the market depends on my needs and this is the second best apple watch ultra clone depends on my needs as you can see h11 ultra plus has real holes but on the HK8 Pro Max, the holes are filled. So according to the original one, the outer design is more similar to the original Apple Watch Ultra. As you can see also on this side, are the holes are filled. And we have antenna lines on H11 Ultra Plus. Of course, it doesn't have the you know telephone feature 
but on the real one there are two antennas and this watch replicates them but on the HK8 Pro Max we don't have it so with the design H11 Ultra Plus is better and when we pay attention to the bezels bezels for both watches they are both thin like the original Apple Watch Ultra and let's turn them on side button and the crown turning on saying by hello and HK8 Pro Max also it's opening as saying hello and as you can see we have a compass here also we have a compass on H11 Ultra Plus and these are the main screens when you turn them on so let me turn on the full brightness for the H11 Ultra Plus this is the full brightness for H11 Ultra Plus and full brightness for the HK8 Pro Max is here okay sorry full brightness and as you can see we have a red dot feature here blinking when you have notification any messages mails you have red dot feature just like the original one on hk8 pro max but on the h ultra plus we don't have that feature okay let's count how many watch faces one two the night mode for the compass two three four five six and seven you have seven watch faces you can save seven watch faces and one of them is do it yourself watch face feature and in the app of the h11 ultra plus you have more than 200 watch faces on the pro max to change the watch faces we need to press and hold the screen let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 so you can save nine watch faces and one do it yourself watch face so we have do it yourself watch face on hk8 pro max also on the hk8 pro max if you would like to change a watch face i mean download from the app which is just around 50 or 60 maximum 60 watch faces each time you can just change one of them but on the H11 Ultra Plus, you can change five of the watch faces at once. I mean, you can delete all of them and download five different watch faces. And what about the hardware? So the most significant difference between both watches, let me turn on the always on display for this one. Always on watch face is up to 20 minutes on hk8 pro max but on the h11 ultra plus there is no limit so when you choose this it is going to be turned on until you cancel it the most significant difference hk8 pro max has a amulet screen the only amulet screen apple watch ultra clone on the market on the H10 Ultra Plus, we have an IPS screen. And on the H11 Ultra Plus, let me try it. Yes, as you can see, it has a palm gesture feature. If I didn't choose, let me show you the always on feature. When I put my palm, it is going to turn off. But on HK8 Pro Max,
we don't have that feature. So on the H11 Ultra Plus, we have palm gesture feature, but on HK8 Pro Max, we don't have palm gesture feature. Also, other hardware differences, HK8 Pro Max has a dual core processor, which is very, very fast AMOLED screen. The watch running on a memory of 1.4 megabytes, while H11 Ultra Plus, if I don't, you know, if I'm not mistaken, it is about 390 kilobytes. So HK8 Pro Max is almost five times faster than H11 Ultra Plus. And when we look to the speed, look at this. See? This is what happens when you have a dual core processor. The HK8 Pro Max is crazy fast. Almost fast as the original Apple Watch. And I already compare the speed with the original Apple Watch. In the review video of HK8 Pro Max, we can find the links in the description. This one is also smooth, but not as the HK8 Pro Max. Look at this. And what else? And both watches are compatible for original Apple Watch accessories. Let's measure their size 49 millimeters 49 millimeters both watches are 49 millimeters let's put on these watch sorry watch bands and you can lock the watch so it's not going to, you know, you are not going to change or open any other application unintentionally. And to unlock the watch, you need to press and hold three seconds. Yes. And we also have the same feature here. And it is locked. And when we touch it, the screen is locked. Okay. Let's put the straps on this one also. On H11 Ultra Plus, you can save 500 contacts. But on HK8 Pro Max, there is no information that how many contacts that you can you are able to save. And actually, when I try to save contacts on HK8 Pro Max, I just couldn't do it. It says add when I'm, you know, when I tap the add menu, nothing happens. I get my contact list from the phone, but I couldn't add any of those numbers. It is weird. I cannot add any numbers here, but if I made a call by dialing the number or just make the call from my phone, I am able to see the name that I am calling or if someone calling me, I am seeing their name. But on the Asian Ultra Plus, you have to add the contacts to the watch, watches contact list. So you can see the caller ID or the ID of people that you are calling. And this is the compass page. Also, you have this compass on the Asian Ultra Plus and on the HK8 Pro Max. Let me choose the default one. You have the compass here. And also if you click the compass icon, it is telling me to calibrate. Yes, it is calibrated with the eight figure or the infinity figure. We have this one. And oops. And this compass page, they are using the same compass design. Okay, and on the HK8 Pro Max, 
we have one game and actually I just don't remember if we have game on the H11 Ultra Plus let's see if we have a game voice alarm stopwatch yes we also have game and by using while playing this game you can use your gravity sensor because you have a compass and you have gravity sensor of course on the hk8 pro max you also have compass and you have gravity sensors so about the health sensors on the market on the apple watch ultra clone market h11 ultra plus h11 ultra upgrade h11 ultra i mean the h11 series have the worst health sensors on the market so if you are buying these smartwatches for their sensors h11 series are not for you and it is very interesting hk8 pro max is the only watch only apple watch ultra clone that i get the exact same data exact same numbers compared to a medical device you can also see that comparison in the review video of hk8 pro max so hk8 pro max has the best health sensors on the market at the moment and if you pay attention this is the exact same menu style of the original apple watch ultra and also this dock page is the exact same feature with the original apple watch ultra by the processor speed and the user interface hk8 pro hk8 pro max is the closest the most similar apple watch ultra clone to the original one but when it comes to design there are lots of watches that is close to original apple watch ultra and h11 ultra plus is one of them which is one of the most similar looking outer design to the original apple watch ultra and is there anything else by the way yes this is the night mode of the compass and if you click here oops sorry you can get the night mode with the hours and if you click again just a second how come on yes and also you can get the number face or the compass face so in one watch face you have four different options and icons on the watch face works and as you can see all sport notes are animated and look at the basketball that's awesome weather forecast yes you can see the weather conditions and the next the whole next week but this one this icon and this icon doesn't work on the h11 ultra plus main face as you touch it the color changes see blue circle white circle and uh, yellow circle and red are the icons working yes this one yes yes no okay guys these are the most significant differences between both watches so if i forgot to mention anything please ask me in the comments okay let's check the languages which languages do they support settings general language okay 
H11 Ultra Plus Supports English, Espanol, Portuguese, Turkish. I think this is Arabic. I don't know the last two languages. But supporting languages are limited on this one. I mean less than the HK8 Pro Max. When we get to the settings menu of HK8 Pro Max, which is also very maybe 95-98% similar to the original one. We go to Universal and Language Settings. English. Chinese, I think. Or Mandarin. Ruski, Deutsch, Italiano, French. Polski, Portuguese, Espanol. Korean, Japan. I still don't know what language is this one. Urdu, this one. Bahasa Indonesia, Tiang Viet, Viet, Turkish, Arabic, Hebrew, I think, and English again. So HK8 Pro Max supports more languages than H11 Ultra Plus. If you would like to get any of these watches, you may find the links in the description and you may also find the detailed review videos for both watches in the video description. As always, thank you for watching. And have a great day.